Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan. Last time in this studio. Next time in our new studio, this is the Android App Show episode number 85 this week. We have two apps to review. Uh, that's right, I'm going to cover a game, of course, Welcome. and a tool. Welcome to the Android App Show. The tool is Dave. Uh, tool. Who's the tool? The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome to the show, everyone. The Android app show. Some people call it the Android party. That's right. You know, the intro kind of makes it seem that way. It does. I like it. I like that intro a lot. Yeah. It's just so fun. It's like upbeat. a goofy goofy way to get the goofiness out and then just be total downers for the rest <sighs> of the show. Welcome, welcome to Android. <laughs> we don't have anything to talk about this week, but no, we do. A couple apps to review. Yeah. Uh, so let's, uh, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Lane. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, you know, no introduction necessary for some people, right? You right. know, long-time viewers of the show know that this is Lane. Yes, and I am Dave. Hello. And we have fun every week. We do. We try to. We have fun for 85 episodes now. I know. That is... It's kind of nice. I know. I kind of had this weird moment when uh, I made a reference to an app that we reviewed on December 19th of 2010. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> And today, I kid you not, today, uh, my stepson Trevor is like, he was, you know, you're kind of famous. <laughs> or he didn't say kind of, he says, you're famous. And I'm like, no, just because you're on the internet doesn't mean that you're famous. And yeah. Kristen's like, well, you know, you do get a lot of downloads and stuff. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of downloads, yeah, but, you mm. know, some people, <laughs> you can't let it uh, That's cool. make you think anything, you know. <laughs> it's cool that your kids think you're famous, though. It, that that that's part really is cool. cool. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Hell yeah, us and the uh, couple thousand people watching this. Mm-hmm. But that's, you know, it's not like we get recognized anywhere. It's not like local famous. Oh, no, dude. Dude, when you go to a nerd conference. Yeah, which I'm going to have to go to one. It is frightening. I totally want to go to an Android developer conference. I've gone to a year. couple podcasting ones, and I've been mobbed pretty much. Close yeah. to. I don't know. I might have to go to one with you. Yeah. You know. It's fun. We should Give my wife some reason to, to be jealous, you know. <laughs> we can do a live show. <laughs> It'll be fun. It just have We can plant some people in the crowds to throw, you know, mm-hmm. undergarments or stuff at us from. Oh. Yeah. Good idea. Uh, speaking of that, this is the last show in the studio. In this studio. In this studio. We are moving to a new studio downtown. 2,700 square foot studio. Crazy space. Crazy space. Nice and big. We're doing a lot of other stuff with the studio, though. It's not just right. going to be studio space. Um, it's not well, going to give away. It's not going to be us in a giant cave. No. Like a tunnel. No. Like but it's pretty big news, uh, at least mm-hmm. for Coefficient Media. Yeah, uh, in this other endeavor that we have going on, uh, but I think I think it's going to be awesome. We're going to see a little bit higher quality, and you know maybe some more people actually working on this because we're going to. I don't know. Mm-hmm. There's there's some plans in the works. I don't again. I don't want to give everything away, but it's going to be a new studio, and I think you guys are going to like it. Yeah, it'll be a little rough at first. I'm sure. We don't have any paint up on the wall or anything yet. No. Well, you know, we you don't can... even have internet there yet. <laughs> so. You can get by without an internet connection, right? No. That's what tethering's for. We pretty much turned the heat off because without internet, it's useless in the studio. That's true. Like, it's just so a, I come in there with my Android phone and I'm like, free Wi-Fi hotspot. Whoa. You disgust me. <laughs> you can do that, can't you? Yes, I can. 100% awesome. 100%. All right, let's 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 get into these app reviews. What do you yeah. think? All right. Speaking of apps that kids like. Yes. Oh, man. This app, I like. I totally got, again, I mentioned my stepson earlier. Uh, I got him hooked on this app. Really big deal. Uh, this one is called Triple Town, and it's like a puzzle app. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but it isn't a stationary puzzle app. It's a, it's very different. I it's guess a free it's app, too. Totally free, except for, I guess, an in-app purchase. 
but mm. they do limit you on the amount of turns you can take. Uh, mm. I don't know exactly what the rate is of the recharge, but you get up to 150 turns is what it maxes out at. So if you let the game set for a while, it will recharge all the way up to 150 uh, and then let you make some more. But you'll see what turns actually are here. Okay. So uh, here's right in the middle of a game. Uh, this is perfect on the phone, on the tablet, portrait, or landscape. Uh, what you're viewing right here is the landscape version. Uh, but essentially the game is match three different kinds of whatever. This is grass. Uh, and now it's having me put down a bear. Let's do another grass. And you'll make the next level, which is a bush. And then sometimes it gives you higher level items instead of just grass. It gave me a tree. So I'll combine these two trees here in the middle with this and make a red house. Then you combine red houses to make like little mansions like this house that's right here. Uh, I combine those houses to make the bigger mansions like this bigger mansion right here. And then you have a, that's that's kind of like the life track for trees and bushes and stuff. It goes into castles and everything. Uh, but then you see the churches with the steeples, which is uh, right here. And right here is a bigger version. Those come from the bears. Uh, you trap bears in different corners of your map. Let's put another bear over here. And when you get three of them trapped together so that they can't move, the uh, the bears will turn into a small church like this. So uh, it's uh, it's kind of confusing at first. The bears. The bears. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, it is awesome. I mean, like this this game is so very addictive. I I don't think I've played a game this addictive since Radiant HD, and that was a while ago. Angry Birds. Is it Angry Birds addictive? Ah, uh, yes. Oh boy. And see, the thing about this so is you're gonna though, see that little pet bear everywhere. Yeah, I mean, this little... totally looks like the pet bear. Yeah. But the the thing about it is, like, they don't make you buy this app. Yeah. You just so you like the sound effects on here. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so like, ninja. what exactly do you have to pay for? You are only allowed so many moves and so much time, or something. See on the right side, uh, the fourth little box down. Yeah, it says unlimited turns, and it has that little piece of grass there. Yeah, getting bigger and smaller. It says play some grass. Uh, that has a countdown usually that oh. maxes out at one fifty, and so you only get so many turns, and you have to put the game down. Uh, and then if you want unlimited turns, you need to actually purchase for the, uh, an in-app thing for it. Yeah, it's, or is it, for, it's four ninety nine. Four ninety nine now? I don't know, I put it in the notes. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. But the great thing is, okay, first one I'm like, why well, you got to purchase in-app, yeah. uh, which means like it's only tied to that specific device. Mm. That threw up a red flag right away because red then flag. to me that meant that every time you install this app on a different device, mm -hmm. you'd have to repurchase the unlimited turns. That's what it means, right? Uh, but not on here. You hit oh. the settings uh, little icon. Open faint. And uh, it'll have an option in here if you haven't used it already. I believe it's right here. That says to install the uh, unlimited turns if you've already purchased it on another device. Beautiful. You hit that, and then uh, it will come back up with the game and just say, yep, uh, you did purchase it on another device, so we're going to go ahead and give it to you for free That's good. on this one. And guys, uh, if I can, I don't know if the developers are watching, but that is totally called doing the right thing. Yeah. All right, let me, I'm just going to fill this up so I can... Click to see my rewards. Bunch of crap. Start a new game. So this is more like what it looks like. It's a far more open uh, field. Uh -huh. And then they uh, they want you to just you know keep building until you can you know build bigger and better things. But it's very awesome. I don't know if you did you see when I I trapped the bears that I made it into a, a church. Oh, here's the other missing piece of the puzzle: the crystal. Crystals are like a a wild card. They let you combine any two things into something else. So I'm going to totally use it to combine these bushes into a tree. Pretty cool stuff. Another crystal. And another red house. Ooh. So, yeah. Pull this up here. 
I mean, you don't know how many hours I've spent on this game. Sounds like, sounds like a lot. Yeah. And some of the people, they have ridiculous high scores that I've seen on there. I don't know. I'm sure there's some sort of like a method to how to construct uh, these different things, like where to build the trees to get, you know, the red houses. And then you have to put, position those red houses to get the bigger houses and everything. Yeah. But uh, I'll let you come up with that. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this game, though. It's pretty awesome. And uh, again... I had, uh, you know, my stepson's nine, or no, he's ten. He's ten, going on eleven, uh, and he had no problems with this uh, whatsoever. He picked up, you know, picked up to it pretty quickly. Uh, it does have a tutorial when you first start it up that kind of walks you through uh, what the different functions are. Uh, but I totally recommend this game. It's called Triple Town, and it is free. So, you know, it's free to try. It's like, it's like crack. The first set's free, you know. And when you when you get addicted and you want to come back for more, they take it away. Ah. Yeah, and they say ah no freaks. Now you gotta pay. Um, but at that point, believe me, it is worth paying for. I love this game. Cool. So oh, and I I guess I should bring up. I uh, put it here in the notes. Uh, we reviewed another app by the same developer called Steambirds mm -hmm. on December nineteenth, twenty ten. So, again, if you want to look that up, just go to our website, theandroidappshow.com, and search for Steambirds, which is one word, to see another app that this developer made. Cool. So, pretty cool app, I think. I like it. So, for the next app we're going to review today, yes. it's not a game. No, this is not a game. They are not Dave. playing around. <laughs> they are taking this seriously now. Yeah, Google's definitely stopped playing around. Uh, we're talking, of course, about Google Documents. Uh, the free app that you might have tried before on your phone or tablet device. Uh, but now they have made a significant upgrade to it. And that is to the word processor that's in Google uh, Docs. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what is inside. So a lot of this looks familiar. Uh, when you first launch it up, you get the same screen here where they have different kinds of uh, ways to view your own docs. So we'll go into all items. And you know, view these uh, latest ones on here. Well, let's bring up the Android oh. app show. So there's a totally different interface on here now. Uh, it used to be before that this was oh. all web-based. Yeah. Wh whenever you pulled up anything, each line was... You could tell that they uh, just pulled in a web view from the Google Docs website. Oh, yeah. Well, now all these uh, lines in here, this is all it's native application that you're That's clicking nice. around in. And it has that little paste symbol there because I have something in my clipboard. Um, but you All can right. do things like you can hold down uh, and then highlight a word. And then up on the top bar, the action bar here, you have different uh, quick things that, you know, let you edit rich text. Um, yeah. So say I want to underline it. Uh-oh. There we go. So now I, I underlined it. <laughs> so let's see. I want to bold game once. Let's like that. I don't know if those are showing up on the screen Get there bold. for some reason. Oh, again. okay. Yeah, they're up here in the action bar. Mm -hmm. Our video source might be throwing it off. I'm resetting it. Uh, but let's see. You can go up here. We'll select some other text. And hit this button. And then you can change the color. Nice. Say to red. And then we'll change the background color to this blue thing. Well, that looks great. Yeah, it looks amazing on here, right? <laughs> uh, but you have undo and redo, your typical word processor stuff, bold, italics, underline, uh, colors. You can do numbered lists, unordered lists, indent, uh, control. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, and then when you select it, it kind of has their own uh, copy and paste system on there. That's cool. Uh, so, it would, you know, the handy select all, which I love that. Uh -huh. And then cut, copy, and paste. So then if you had done in the corner... Uh, you kind of get dropped. Uh, it goes into editing mode way too easily when you're scrolling around. But you get dropped back into this just viewing mode that's not in editing mode. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Very intuitive. Uh, on the top right, though, now there's a new share button. So you can add people uh, by email just like you would. Oh. And once you add them, let's see. I'll... Uh, I'll start typing. I should be able to type there. Yeah. 
maybe it's you're just underneath David. So I'll add you. And you can choose whether they can edit or just view. And it automatically puts that out. That's nice. So I can go back to the, the can, main list here. Can you change like uh like if the document is public or private or blah 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 blah? Um, I'm not sure. Let Let's me go share back. a link to it, that kind of stuff. Share, oh, make yeah. offline, send more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, sorry, that's the the cable coming undone, folks. Dongle. But yeah, it doesn't look like it, you know, it has the uh, settings for public and private on here. Um, But you can share it to individual people. And to me, that's the big thing. And this whole, the styling of text, doing bullets, uh, you can do some pretty powerful word processing. That's cool. Uh, And it's not some hacked way to sync up with Google Docs. It's this not, is the real thing. It's not that silly one line editing web version thing. That was crazy. Yeah, that was that was always crazy. Uh the unfortunate thing though is this only works with spreadsheet or excuse me, with documents. There we go, losing the input again. Yep. Only works with documents, doesn't work with spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are still I just keep bumping it is what the problem is, sorry. Uh, spreadsheets are still web-based. Uh, uh, you can create documents from photos or documents from some image in your gallery, uh, but there's nothing you can do with presentations on here. So hopefully they'll come out with another update soon uh, that lets you tinker with presentations. But for now, uh, I don't know. I guess I can accept having only uh, an awesome word processor and not an awesome other stuff because you know they're working on it. Baby steps, Lane. Baby steps. Indeed. So, Google Docs. Uh, this stuff can't be beat. It's free. And again, the word processor now, totally awesome. Uh, syncs right up. You know, you can edit with more than one person, and it's native. Come on, you can't be native. It's totally kicking the butt of all this web view stuff going around. I like it. So those are the uh, those are the reviews for the show this week. Cool. It was a good show. I think so. I'm pretty excited about it. That's pretty much all that we have to talk about this week. No other news at all. No other. No, there's some big iPad stuff coming out. You know, there's some patent news, and everybody's talking about Jelly Bean. But Jelly come Bean. On. Yeah. I don't know. Jelly Beans. I don't think it's going to be 5.0, but no? it's probably going to be 4. Point something. 4.9. Yeah. 4.8. No, probably 4.1 4. 4. 4. or 4.5. 4. 4. 4.5. But we'll see. We'll see. Jelly bean S. It's hard to it's hard to speculate. 4.S. Yeah. It it will be interesting to see though if they introduce a new platform with Jelly Bean. Hmm. hmm. But we'll see. We will Some see. people are talking about watches officially supported by Jelly Bean. Hmm. You know, cuz it's smaller. Yeah. Like a Jelly Bean. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Maybe but, like know, maybe like speculation. a pill that you can just take. Yeah. Oh, like the iPhone on uh, Futurama. <laughs> yeah. I love that. You've seen that, right? Yeah. I love it. That's totally where we're going. And I, I would stand in line for that iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> to not have to uh, wipe off a screen anymore. Yeah, there goes my uh, my ringtone. All right. He didn't uh, hate his phone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you want to follow us on Twitter, it is twitter.com slash... Android app show. Uh, we're tweeting up stuff sometimes, uh, but you can ask us questions there. That's more important. Yeah. Uh, get in contact with us, and we do respond. We do. So, And if you want to watch some of our videos, you know, you can go to our website, or you can go to YouTube, and that's just youtube.com slash the Android app show. You can uh, subscribe on YouTube also and get those right to your YouTube account whatever box thing that they have on there. And And uh, as always, we are a member of the Blueberry Podcast Network. Uh, Blueberry is kind of like professional slash amateur podcasters who Mm -hmm. are really interested in what they do, like we are, uh, but we all do different things. So if you want to find out some other stuff that you might be interested in, blueberry.com with no ease. No ease. Super cool like that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So thanks for joining us, everybody. And it was a great week. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff planned for next week, too. 
Oh, yes. Big fun. time. In the new studio. New studio. Next Let's, time in the new studio. We'll see if we can get all this stuff together. <laughs> I'm a little That's frightened. That's going to be fun. I, oh, wow. I sh- we should be taking bets on how much stuff we'll break trying to get it over there. Ooh. I don't want to bet on that. We've though. had this thing set up for like almost two years, the way it is. We've blown a lot of dust off a lot of stuff. To- <sighs> oh, frightened. well. Progress. New studio. Yeah. Then we will have to buy new equipment. Yay. Ay, ay, ay. You like that, uh, that ringtone? <laughs> <laughs>